Right, okay, what I'm going to do in this video is something a little bit different. I'm going to try and do a VR Cricket Guide guide to score runs in Golden Wicket on a bouncy wicket against the ultra insane bowlers with no bat shield, okay? Um, now, obviously, it will depend a lot on your cricket knowledge and cricket ability, really, um, but I'm trying to avoid all that, trying to say, oh, play the offside here or play a cut shot here. Just want to try and give simple guys that hopefully may give you a little bit of extra runs uh, when you try and score a century in uh, IP cricket. Right, Alistair Cook and Mark Latterton are my opening pair. First of all, just check what type of bowling you're going to get. A lot of times I'll just uh, put my head down, press continue, not realising it's going to be a fast bowler or it's going to be the medium fast bowler. But this is uh, my fast, my time fast bowler. So first of all, I'm going to take a guard. This is my guard. It's more or less Midland off stump and it's just outside the crease there. That's my guard against the fast bowler. And in this mode of cricket, anything wide, I'm not going to chase. I'm just going to basically survive for at least five, six overs. Just try and keep my eye in, and if it's outside off stump, I'm just going to let it go. Go again, just letting that go straight through to the keeper. Anything can happen on that type of shot. You get a bottom edge onto the stumps, bottom edge to the keeper. So we'll just leave those alone for a little while. Oh, but sometimes you just get drawn into that. That's good bowling. Sometimes you just have to say, we're bold. Oh, and again, that was the, uh, the off cut at that time. So. One moving away, one moving in, and luckily when it's the fast bowler, I don't really move that much, but just enough. There we go. Anything that's going to be on the half volley, I do get a bit forward slide in and try and make the ball in the half volley and just angle the bat away. I tend to find if I keep it straight, it's going to go straight to mid-off. If I angle it away in a big gap, it can go into either side of cover. Now what I mean by angling away, instead of playing straight, I tend to just twist about, turn about, so I'm going forward, and actually letting the ball ricochet away rather than straight in front. Another big tip against the fast bowlers is use all that space on the offside. Usually, especially for the first five, ten overs, there's always a big gap on this offside. So if you can just get a bat on it, use really utilise that space. There's twos and threes out there, or oh, don't have to smash it to the boundary. single there, I didn't just hit it hard, just basically placed it in that area. There we go, that's better. Usually I'd leave that type of delivery, it was a little bit wider, but my trigger movement is to come across, so it sort of turned itself into a half volley really. So 17 off two oats. So we're still facing genuine fast bowlers. Really, nothing too much to worry about. A few couple of, couple of plays and misses, but 
relatively comfortable. Now this is where it gets more complicated for me personally. The right arm medium fast, so the, the ball will cut both ways, uh, in and out. <laughs> Basically this bowl is a demon, right? He's got this leg cutter, the off cutter, reverse swing, in swing, seam, but it's everything, right? So what I tend to do is come out and crease of about three or four inches to try and take the ball on the bounce as much as I can. Anything wide like that is nothing to worry about. It's the ball that's just short of a length. There. See, that's, I, can, I can literally smother the movement, really. Oh, yeah, that's a bent ball, a slow ball. For me, that's the one that's probably got me out the most. Just try and survive against the medium fast bowlers because the, the movement is quite a lot. So, big strides to meet the ball. Again, losing it offside to pick up the singles. And leaving. That, oh, the other thing I should mention if you're going to be batting it outside of your crease. Don't forget to get back inside the crease. Is this what the keeper does not to, doesn't like to throw your stumps down? If you're outside the crease, now, if you don't know where your crease is, that yellow line there, your head crease, if you come out of there, that's when you're going to be stumped. So again, we've got the left arm fast, medium bowler now, again, has all the types of deliveries, but this guy is going to be seaming it back in and seaming it out as well. <laughs> so that's difficult. That's why it's the ultra insane bowling. It is basically bloody hard. So again, I'll add my crease for quite a bit. And that offside is where the singles are. about patience. So when people say can this game help your real game in real life? Patience for me, yeah, I think if you're if you can develop the mental side of things by being patient, not hitting a bad ball, or not hitting every bad ball, you know, just making sure you hit the ball you really need. There we go. That's one of my favourite shots, the square drive. That's the half volley. learning to leave on length is another good tip. There we go, another short of drive. All that is really is a push, it's not a massive swing, it's just meeting the ball and pushing. Not really a swing at all. Back to the genuine fastball, so I did come back a little bit. Yes. Oh. Straight delivery. Yeah. And was an edge. It's gone before. Yeah. There we go. Just leave those. Obviously, we won't take a buy. The buys aren't adding to our score. It's a bit frustrating. Yes, nice. That shot is made a little bit easier for me personally because I do have a trigger movement, sort of cross and forwards. And we're moving to 41 just by uh, playing sensible, uh, relaxed, uh, no drama cricket. So it's 41 for six overs. Down fast, me because we're outside the crease again. Leaving on 
long legs. And then oh my God. patience that's maybe one of the key points especially when you're in the uh, golden wicket mode um, Sometimes it can get frustrating if you have scored runs for four deliveries. <laughs> but uh, just try to imagine yourself opening your bowling, opening the batting for your local team. And they've instructed you to stick around. Stay in for as long as you can. That's basically what I'm trying to do. Stay in. There we go. You're going to take the hard volleys as presents, really. Fast, reasonable pace, and let him go. 98 miles an hour, there's no way I'm going to lay a bat on that. Again, it's all about patience here. Surviving. There we go. Oh, beautiful shot. It's difficult balance between leaving everything and then capitalising on anything pitched up really. And that's 50. So they go 50 runs uh, during this uh, VR Cricket guy Guide, which is quite handy. It's quite good to have a guide where you actually score some decent runs. Oh, now that was a very, very late shot. I did intend to leave that, but it's very last me. I just got my bat down and played it very, very late. Not intentionally for four, just intentionally trying to survive. Oh dear, yeah, that's a rash shot. Could have easily left that, but it did come back in towards me. Got a massive bottom edge off the toe end. That's going to have to wait for four more. Yeah, take a heart, boys. <laughs> I think all that becomes pretty natural after you've played for a while, like I have. This is, I think, nearly two years now, maybe over two years now. So, see the ball pitched up, it's uh, come quickly onto the front foot, and get those. As we through the ball. Yeah. Oh, and then just trying to survive against anything that's in that danger area. Turn off this over so far. Yeah. Slowly but surely, you sort of get your eye in. So that one, to be honest, I'll would have left earlier on. I'm slowly getting used to the pace, getting used to the movement, used to the pitch, and I'm able just to push the ball around a little bit more. Bam, that time. That's going to be fast on this side edge. The other thing to remember is to keep an eye out on the field changes, alright? I have been guilty of that. Oh, Christ. Oh, that's lucky. Okay. Another thing to bear in mind is just keep an eye on the field. You do get a warning to say the field has changed, but just remember to actually check. Is, uh, I have been playing a lot of shots through that offside, so just keep an eye on that and make sure you know how many slips are involved. Make sure there's anybody down in third round. Uh, and just, just keep concentrating, really. There we go. That's just getting a bat on the ball. 
keeping the ball on the floor as well as get over the top of it. And uh, that's at that speed, 95.84 mile an hour. If you get a, a proper bit of bat on it, it will hopefully go all the way to the boundary. Ah, oh. right, that's a lucky four. I'm going to hold my bat up. Apologise for the ball. That was, to be honest, trying to leave it. I just, I just left my bat hanging. Again, another tip, as in real life, if you're going to leave the ball, don't leave your bat out here. Get it underneath or way out of the way. Right, my other tip is, if you get 50, celebrate it, come on. That's, uh, what's that, that's, uh, I was a cook's 50. Be happy with that, celebrate. Raise your back, why not? Right, we've moved on to 83 now. Now, this is the part where I say, you should just relax. It's treat with a ball on the same merit, but I want 83. I know how close I am to a, a century here, and this will be amazing. If I get a century while doing a guide to screen runs, coincidence, yes. <laughs> yeah. So it's frustrating, so it's 21 extra, so in reality, <laughs> of course, I don't score. You can't, you don't score the runs, and you don't score the buys yourself, so I'd be quick, is actually correct. Uh, you shouldn't really be. Uh, Taking the runs if they haven't come off your bat. It wouldn't go down in your score or anyway in the scorebook. Oh dear. Oh, right. Now, if you've been watching on TikTok or Instagram, I'm on 87. Right, 10 overs gone, 87. Ultra insane bowl, there's no bat shield. Bouncy wicket, basically the hardest level, and I'm trying to get that elusive third century now. I haven't got a century of this bat yet. My other two centuries came with the Ivy Cricket bat, which is behind me, and my homemade bat that I made well, over a year ago now. So this is the only bat that I haven't scored a century with. So here I am at 87, not out, hoping to score that elusive third century. Also, this is going to be included in my VR Cricket Guys guide to scoring runs on Golden Wicket. There we go, just again, just keep him patient. Doesn't matter. Again, I will try and emphasize the fact that I am trying to play this ball on its merit and just survive. Even though I'm an 87, I'm not really fussed. I will be lying if I, <laughs> if I say I'm not nervous already. I am. Oh, well, it gets out of the way nicely. Drops to wrists, gets everything out of the way. Patience. There we go, nicely behind it. Moment people are single. It does. 88. That was 95.14 miles an hour. Good get behind it. 88. Off in there and overs. We want to be right on medium fast, so as I said earlier. I'm standing about two or three inches outside of my crease just to make sure I can cover some of that exaggerated movement off the scene. Ah, Christ. Yeah, that was a, again another genuine leave, but it's too quick. I wasn't quick enough to get the bat out of the way. 88. Get it. Go wide. Ooh, as you're going, it's going away for four. Dug it out nicely, hits the bottom of the bat, and it races away for four. That's it's up into the 90s now. I'm going to have to give up doing this guide because uh, I'm not in the right frame of mind, to be honest. I'm 93 not out, I'm looking for my third century, and the butterflies have kicked in. It's a field in change. It's a single, so I think this is why this game's amazing. That's just 73 miles now, so the, oh, come on. Yeah. 
Um, I've lost it. It's going to be a single down to uh, fine leg. I'm not even coming forward, I've just gone straight back and cowardly gone into my crease. 94. Yep. That was single one to 95, ladies and gents. The 95, no bat shield against the ultimate same bowlers, IB cricket. Stage in number, number one, this is, I believe. Just, I've changed my game completely. There's no way I play like this. I never, I never shuffle back. I'm always shuffling forward. This is how much uh, cricket gets to your brain, even in virtuality. So we've got the uh, fast right arm bowler. His current figures are four overs, 29 without a wicket, a common rate of 7.2. So if I can get 7.2 <laughs> runs in this over, I'll be very, very happy. I'm um, just trying to avoid not getting out. Doing my best not to think about the score. 95. Just trying to concentrate on surviving and not get out cheaply. That's wide. Leave it. And again. So if you're watching on TikTok or Instagram, you're sitting on the toilet during your lunch break or breakfast break or tea break and you're watching this, thank you very much indeed. I really enjoyed the comments I got last time I had this position. The amount of people saying that that was the best toilet break they've ever had. <laughs> uh, they really made my day. So 95. Oh, come on, a bit single, a bit single. It is 1996. Nose that time. Now, as much as I hate to admit it, I'll be quite happy with a massive inside edge for four at the moment. Or top edge over the slips. Oh, that's nice defended. Covers up nicely. Just a one off that over there. 96 now, 13 overs gone. Cook not out 52. Atherton not out 44. There's my high score ever 116 on this wicket, on this ground. Uh, so I'm looking to, to pass that if I can. That's maybe a bit of mind game. Maybe if I just forget about the hundred, just think about 116. Oh, he's done it! And what a way to do it as well. One of the best shots of the day. <sighs> Come on, right? I, do, I don't want to celebrate too much. Inside, I really want to. I'm 48 years old, I've got two grandkids, four kids, uh, and uh, it's my third century in IB cricket, so solid, I love it, <laughs> amazing my back, thank you much indeed, try not to uh, go over the top right now, right, let's crack on then, so this has been <laughs> the VR cricket guide guide to score of the century now, that's what a great title I can use, Now, playing with a bit of freedom, beautiful back cut shot, or a late cut shot, four runs. That's 50. And Atherton moves on to 50 as well. So both openers obviously getting centuries, uh, half centuries, sorry, centuries, that'd be amazing. Can you imagine getting 200? That's what I should do. That's what I should do now. Just try and forget that score and push on. Push on. Now, I've got a short cover has come in now, so again, I haven't checked. I didn't check the field. One of my biggest scoring areas is through this offside here, but sometimes I do hit the ball in the air. So I have to remind myself of that. Okay, a little bit of pressure on there, make sure I play correctly. There's a slower ball, slower leg cutter, beautiful bowling. Again, just rocking onto the back foot. Beautiful. But just the one run. One hundred and five. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Still 
concentration on just playing the, the, the ball that I know the score runs off, basically. I haven't seen the spinners yet, I'm a bit worried about the spinners coming on anytime soon. saying I don't play on the next side and that's because I am an offside player so that's the way I play I don't play across the line the only time I play across the line is when there's a short ball slow enough to be able to pull Damn. that's lack of concentration playing at a delivery that I've probably let go a hundred times in this innings and this time I've got the inside edge and it's lack of distance Right, yeah, as I was saying earlier, all my shots, scoring shots, are through that extra cover and cover region or behind square and uh, down to fine leg. I don't really apologise for it anymore. I'm not really fussed if anyone wants to moan about it. But uh, uh, the weekly high scoreboard, I'm up to uh, the fourth this week. Unfortunately, I'm not good enough as Matt Higgins, Zishan or Justin Cox. Justin Cox, I see his name quite a bit, to be honest. Uh, I'm wondering if you're on social media. Uh, I would like to say hello. <laughs> uh, All-time high score leaderboard, I'm still 39th. Didn't quite reach that uh, dizzy heights of 116. I uh, would love to be able to score up to 300 if I can. Right, that's been uh, the VR Cricket Guide guide to scoring runs in uh, Golden Wicket mode against Ultra and St. Bowl with no back shield. Uh, if you want to play this game, you'll need one of these. This, this is the Meta Quest 2. And this is the mid 3D bat. And this backstrap here is from Kiwi Designs. It's got an extra uh, external battery on the back, which gives me about two or three hours more. The link is in the description below if you're watching on YouTube. If you're watching on TikTok or Instagram, head to my bio. You'll see the link, which will be linked to uh, Linktree slash VR Cricket Guy. And then you'll see all the stuff I use. And you can purchase it through there. Right, that's it for me. Cheers and cheerio.